Man, it's been a long time. What is up, you guys? It's me, Amma Jane. Yes. Um, announcement, guys. I'm going to move house. So, woo, it's been. Long. This is going to be the first time I move because, to be honest, to where I live, we've been we've been here like more than thirty years. So yeah, it's about time to change. So change is good. And plus, we've got a garden. So. What else can we ask for? So that's why I never ask for you guys for any gifts for the time, you know, fan letters or anything like that for you from you guys. I'm sorry if I haven't announced it, but now because I wasn't sure, that's why I've been so unsure about how long it would take. Especially in London, it's such a big, busy area, so a busy country, so you get the point. So. Right, so today's not going to be a reaction video, it's just my like vlogging to where I was the past two weeks. As you can remember, I have I did announce I wasn't going to do, uh, before I, I left, before uh, finishing um, the, I think it was fairy tale or One Piece um, live reaction, uh, I announced that I wasn't going to do for two weeks. And no reaction videos from K-pop or J-pop, well mainly K-pop or any live reaction manga series so therefore you get the point so for the past two weeks as you for those who are following me on my following me on my t instagram you're more or less updated where i was so i was at columbia for two weeks for family reasons um, my uncle got sick so since i'm very close to my family rel relatives on my mom's side and my dad's side um, yeah, my dad's side I don't know much about, but, or the country itself, where he's from, whereas I know where my mom is from, she's from Colombia, so therefore, I know more of that. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's been awesome. It was a bit weird for some people, like, it's like, dude, where's it, where's any, is, there's no K-pop reactions, there's no live reaction manga for the manga people, you know, my manga peeps, I'm sorry, uh, K-pop peeps, I'm sorry, regular peeps, I'm sorry, I've just been so busy since I came back, it's been hectic, I mean, if you see, my room looks like, uh, that it just had a, uh, an earthquake, if that's made sense, look, there we go, yeah, it's it's a process of taking out stuff from the wardrobe, taking the stuff, some couple luggages, couple stuff to the new house. I had to help my brother to take the big TV to the new house. Boy, that was heavy. I, I nearly broke my bones. Um, I'm just kidding, but still, that was heavy. Um, plus, we had to go shopping to shop some stuff that was needed to the house, like Chromebook, Chromecast, and the thing for the the TV to hang on. Um, uh, yeah, it was it was a lot of things going on this week. Um, uh, never imagined I was gonna be this busy. I came back on first. Actually, I came back on a Wednesday, and when I as soon as I arrived on a Wednesday midday, like an afternoon, like two o'clock in the afternoon to England. As soon as I landed to this old house or old flat, the first thing was go to the new house, help out. Since we've got a garden now, so we have to take out the weeds, uh, yeah, take cut off branches that is not needed anymore, and then, yeah, it was it was a lot of things. And then I had to change the addresses, uh, how to deal with my mom's situations with something called, um, what's it called? Job seekers, and all these kind of things that I needed to, you know, reassess and still continuing to do projects um uh, yeah so with that aside a hectic moment let's go to the relaxing moment as the day i left the country um uh, so yeah as as you guys know um i went to colombia for two weeks um uh, i flew on heathrow i went to heathrow so obviously on in heathrow I said goodbye to my mom because there was two luggages, one to take to a friend and the other one is mine with family gifts as we always have that tradition. 
everywhere we go I think in Korea as well and here not so much I think I think they do I don't know this is the thing I don't know much about English people and I've been here for I was been I've been in England the day I was born I was literally born in London how I'm not I do not know that well probably because I've never been to an English or white folks white people's territory like house and how they deal with stuff how they um give each other's gifts like you know the sharing kind of thing like we do like Latinos do uh Korean as well because uh, apparently Koreans and the Colombians are very alike the culture wise uh, I'll get that in a minute uh yeah and for some reason you know that little machine where they detect if you got something weird in your bag like drinks or yogurts or anything weird like knives or anything sharp um, they thought I had something and they realized I had nothing uh, yeah and the lady asked me basically asked me what flight I was going to flight plane I was going to take and I accidentally say KML I'm sorry KML from KML from you know KML from Jerry KML oh, I'm so sorry KML I don't know what and it's not KML it's KLM and it apparently it just automatically said KML and the lady corrected me oh KLM embarrassing moment but kind of <laughs> uh, I, I guess I've watched too much YouTube and I love you all I love these all these reactioners you know all the you know the bottom of my heart I really do I mean you guys are awesome you always make me smile always make me laugh when I'm feeling a bit stressed uh, and frustrated because I'm easily frustrated <laughs> and lack of patience yeah mm, trying to work on that guys no I'm not perfect but hey um with that said mm, yeah that flight though that flight and then I was being warned that the way the connection the flight connection is going to make one of them is going to be the longest one out of all I mean not the longest in you know flying all the way to that country it's just the the airport was long and you c can easily get lost if you're not aware <sighs> and it's called Amsterdam my god dang I don't know which one's worse America or Amsterdam dang it's so long I don't know why that moment when I felt I was gonna, not gonna find it I felt like I went to America I've been to America before and drew I lost a flight before a flight connection it's so long it's so long they I don't know how do they make an airport make it so long and difficult to find it feels like as if you're in Alice in Wonderland but hey I eventually got to the gate thank God for the because I'm a I'm such a obsessive person uh uh, and I get really, really, you know, really nervous, and I, was, I had to find the place as quick as possible not to get lost. So, found the flight. Unfortunately, that didn't have Wi-Fi, like in London Airport, like in um, Heathrow. Heathrow has Wi-Fi, so the only Wi-Fi you're allowed to use on your phone or tablet or whichever is something called WhatsApp. Actually, it's on the phone. But the WhatsApp is the only thing you're allowed to use if you're using your, you know, your smartphone. So you're allowed to use the WhatsApp only. But anyways, got to Amsterdam, got to the plane. Thank God for that. Whew. And then it went to another connection to Panama. And I was like, shit, Panama. I know nothing about Panama. But thank God Panama speaks Spanish. So, and since it's the next door neighbor to Colombia, which is okay, so I feel a little bit more relaxed. Well, as soon as I got there, it wasn't, it wasn't hard. It was really easy to get there. And I thought they had like, you know, the little sockets, like, you know, the USB sockets to charge up a bit my phone, which that didn't happen. So, yeah. So, from Panama, they changed the plane flight so it was no longer KLM but Avianca which is the Colombian plane which is kind of red uh, be it, bear in mind 
I have to say this straight, like, most flight attendants, especially the females, uh, the fe females that I always admire, always look up to, is people like from British Airways. Are uh, British Airways, uh, KLM, and Avianca has Avianca has to be the most elegant looking flight attendants, flight attendant people that work there. Has to be the most elegant, well dressed, nicely you know, nicely done how they're dressed. You know, I makeup, hair, especially the females, the makeup, the hair, and the style always look good, as if they were in the adverts. You know, that you see these beautiful flight attendants. Oh uh, yeah, that's how I felt with them, for a reason. Not a lesbian woman. I just say, not. It's not a lesbo thing. It's just you just see, if you, if, I'm just seeing the perspective way that looks elegant. You know, looks classy, looks nice. Especially how a flight attendant should look, more or less. Not some flight attendant that some would look like. I'm not trying to get at with the old people, but some. Oops. Some are oops. Some are. Mm, and some of them are just. I don't know. It's just, there's something missing. Like, they, 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 they don't even look like flight attendant. They just look ragged. Some look really raggedy. I'm sorry. They look so ragged, so messy, and all crunched up. That some, you know, the some of the waistcoat all crunched up, and it looks it it don't look attractive to me, in my opinion. But if some people you like that kind of thing, that you think that looks elegant, that's you. But I have a kind of way that it looks, you know, nice and ironed, you know, nice and you know, not tight. But it looks, but in a way that. The colour match with the with the face, and um, especially Avianca, the women all dressed in red, red skirt, red waistcoat, a nice uh, white blouse, and they have red hats. And some of them, when they come out, if you see them coming out, you will see them wearing red red ponchos, which match the whole thing. The makeup, even the lipsticks are red, and they have their hair in a bun, and it looks so good on him. They really look good on them. Thank God I have that half of my country, like, you know, half Colombian and the other one's like somewhere else, and then Jewish around the other side, and then Spaniard on the other side up here. Yeah. <laughs> but out of those, and um, yeah, all of those, Colombian has the most classy, classy, classy flight attendants you will see. And they do do their jobs really well, I must say. But, anyways, eventually. I got there a bit early to Colombia from that flight, so obviously it has that USB, so you could just connect the USB to the to the phone, so while it charges, and then fly, fly, fly to hours. I think it was two hours, and then I landed to to motherland of of coffee. Yeah, the coffee, not the cocaine, coffee, because that's where the coffee came from. Oh, uh, the Colombian cake, Colombian um. Land of coffee. Woohoo! I don't drink coffee, so yeah. Um, yeah. Thank God, my auntie was waiting for me, so and my little cousin. So eventually got there, got home, and I knew that I would be living without, not living without, but I would be spending the whole two weeks with no internet access. I mean, no internet access, no job searching. No, um, YouTubing, nothing, nothing. You can imagine for two weeks. I know some people you can live, of, can't live without internet, can't live without TV. Oh, at least they got TVs in the house, but there's no internet because my auntie doesn't know how to use those kind of things. So the only thing I was able to do was to listen K-pop, J-pop, J-rock music and 80 songs. Don't get me wrong. I, I'm into all uh, old school music, so yeah. Hoo! So, <clears throat> so with that said, it was pretty fun because we get to walk. At least I didn't have to stay. It was boring. What bores me if it was only for two weeks is to stay home the whole two weeks would drive me absolute mad. 
But because I'm back here, it's different because we got internet, we got that YouTube, and you got you know you get to see me and do re re reaction videos and following and subscribing other YouTubers. It's also to follow one one um to each each other's um, subscribers. You know, it's 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 nice to follow each other. It's awesome. I mean, because you you're aware of what's going on. To be honest, you're which is just you know you just you're just there. <laughs> but yeah, it was it was pretty awesome the two weeks. Um, I did what I needed to do, you know. And plus it was I was a bit of a diet because since there was no sauce, there was no especially as pepper, which I love the black pepper, but there was no black pepper. I can't live with the I can't live without black pepper. Oh, uh, I was the only thing I was able to take with me to keep me on track, to keep me, you know, my brain to to not forget things is this the Korean phrase book. Yes, I had to take this with me. It came in, did it came in handy? It sure did. It sure did, because now I no longer can count to 10. Now I can count to 30. Now, woohoo, 30, 3, 0, oh my god. Took me forever. I'm kidding, took me a few days and memorize it. That's the whole thing. Do you know when you learn language, you just don't learn language just for the sake of it. You learn the language, you just read it, and then you just memorize it. That's my thing. When I memorize things, and then on Friday, during that week, actually during those two weeks, I went to the superstore, the, sh uh, the supermarket with my auntie. Uh, there's one called the Olympica, which is like Sainsbury's, Tesco's, that kind of shops. So I decided to buy the guys, you know, the peeps on the language exchange of Korean to English. You know, since they love coffee, since the Koreans Koreans love coffee so much, so with all my heart, <laughs> I actually bought them candy. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Where is it? Oh, there. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I bought them candy from all the way to Colombia. Let me just take one. Uh, this one, this one is really famous in my country. I grew up with these candies since I was like six. Since um, my mom's friends used to bring me a lot of these when they used to go to traveling, they come, they they come to England and they just buy me the big. They used to be bigger than this. I think if if I was right, I think it's because I was tiny. I used to see them bigger. They used to be like massive, big bags. Like these have different colors, but I used to hate. I still hate the orange one. I don't know why. So I used to love the red ones. We just the red one actually. Um, it looks like this. Uh, that's uh, different to some candy. Um, this is awesome because the more you suck these, you take just eat one of these. You eat just eat one of these. Any flavor. It's the more you suck one of these lollipops. Your tongue will change color. It will change the same color as this. So I tried the green one, uh, which is the Lulu, uh, which is actually a fruit in Colombia, which is you don't see it in here in England because some people are really Colombian are really surprised to hear that that not all fruits are from Colombia that is eaten over there and actually nice. I mean the fruits are massive uh, over there. You rarely see here. It's just because the fruits over there is so fragile and really delicate, it's not going to be taste the same here. Here is just bland. I mean, like my mum was saying, is this fruit called the guanabana? Oh, uh, dang! I never imagined. I used to hate it as a child. Um, like there was a phrase, what you don't like as a child, you like it when you get older. So as this age came, I came to like it because it was kind of nice. It's sugary, nice. It's kind of nice and sweet. So this is fruit. The fruits over there are not tiny like here in London. That you get these. The avocados over here are just tiny like this. Over there, they're like this. They are massive. Then you got the guanabana. My mom told me that the guanabana here, you buy, if you try and find one, if you're lucky enough, they're really tiny and expensive. Whereas over there, they're more cheaper and they're a the size of an egg of a dinosaur. I mean, they're so huge. Like, 
They're so huge, you can't even carry it. I couldn't, I couldn't even lift one. It was so heavy. Anyways. Uh, by the way, this candy has lo um, chewing gum. For those who love chewing gum, this is a candy for you. And I forgot how much it was, but it was cheap. And then this is other candy, which is I grew up the most. Um, by the way, is this one of them sweets that, for those that don't like drinking coffee, you would like to eat this. This is um the traditional coffee sweet. It has caramel in it. I mean, that's really tasty. I grew up eating this kind of candy for a long time as I can remember. Every time my mom would buy every time my mom goes to Colombia or every time a friend from Colombia come into our house with a gift, especially for me because obviously I was the youngest and cute and adorable and a and a size of a munchkin. I used to get all the packets of sweets like this and this. So yeah, so for those who don't like coffee, drink coffee, I recommend you these. <laughs> it come in handy. I mean, I ate a couple of them. I'm not going to eat them because these are the sweeties that I opened on Friday for the guys and the girls and them. Um, uh, my Korean friends and non-Korean friends, where we usually meet up, meet up in uh, Waterloo. I usually, I just, yeah, we just open and they, they actually like. They were really fond with the candy. They were. I was really surprised. I wasn't really surprised to. And as I said, they're not gonna like it. Gonna be, it's gonna be really sugary for them. But I was surprised. They were like, wow, coffee, yummy, got caramel in it. It's like, mmm. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that was that was pretty exciting exciting moment to actually buy something and I they really they really appreciate something because we usually on Fridays we usually take stuff. And I usually take stuff because normally it's my culture and my, you know, the Colombian roots just comes in into your system like woo let's let's come and share, let's buy some. So it was like a promise I gave out. Promise you, you will take off a Colombian, and they eventually did, and they loved it because it's different. So yeah, ow, my nose. Oh, just felt something there. So what else can I tell you about Colombia? Uh, Colombia is very different to to the UK. There's things that you should do, things you shouldn't do. I'm um, like. There is no such thing as zebras. There are zebras, but they're not like zebra like in London, where they have these little flashing ambers that do this all the time. In La in Colombia, there is no flashing ambers. There's it's so strange. And Marcy said, "Yeah, but that's a zebra." But I said, "No, but the zebra is not meant to have traffic lights, because you know." When you have a zebra, a zebra, a zebra, a, when you think about a proper zebra, a zebra here for us is a dull normal zebra just have a little lines on on the cross the road, just like, you know, the picture of the Beatles, um, Abbey Road, just like that, you know, have that. Normally, you have flashy ambers that looks yellow, and it just flash, 24 hours. 24 hours and what it does is that every time a driver p comes across they don't need a traffic light to stop they have to stop themselves because they know that the zebra is for made to stop and let people cross whereas in Colombia it's totally different it's totally the opposite to us they have a zebra of course just like the zebra long lines are long along that's called the zebra but they have traffic lights so, yeah, it's kind of weird. Mm. And then you have, like, there is no subways and no undergrounds whatsoever. They have instead Transmill Transmillennial, which is like, it's, it's, it's like a bus. But I don't know why it's called, it is a bus actually, it's actually a bus. It's just a special bus that is expensive, that's all. And then you have the normal buses, which is have the, the bus stops. Because it's new, some people, a lot of Colombian people are still not used to the, the new system, like having to have a bus stop. Because back in the day, there were no such thing as bus stops back then. All they had to use, it was this ugly buses, but they usually call it the buseta. 
So they have to, they will just stop anywhere. They could stop in the middle of the road or in the middle of the traffic, which is scary as hell. Oh, how could, I thought, I was like, how can you not have a bus up to make it more safer? So now they're getting rid of those ugly buses, the Buseta, Buseta, oh my gosh, damn. So now they're getting rid of, there are some couple of them. So it's just in case if someone doesn't have, you know, now they have like similar to us, like this, the Oyster card, you know, for the that for those who travel on buses or trains, you go beep. So if it's green, it's good. If it's red, it's not. So you have to go pay. But <laughs> but hey, over there it's just similar. It's just they don't have one week or monthly or one day like bus bus or travel card like we have in here we have bus bus and travel cards which we normally have you, you can either just pay as you go top up just pay as you go top up your cash on this or one day a weekly or a monthly either way you want it bus or trains either way when you pay when you if you pay trains is you can use the bus as well so if it's like a weekly travel card which is the trains you can also use the buses as well so it's actually good it's just expensive but hey it's just different they just top up all they had to do, in Colombia they don't have that they just top up they just literally top up so it's very different it's, it's very different how the culture and especially for the elderly, especially my aunties who's like a few years older than my mom, um, she's supposed to have like a, I don't know, other than they don't have like, like the system that we have here that, that my mom has hers, her special one, which is the Freedom Pass, which is uh, for elderly people or disabled people, I think they have it as well. Uh, they have a picture of themselves with their name on all, and it's for elderly people that has a freedom pass yeah they travel 24 hours buses free for free the good thing they don't have to pay whereas we have to pay people that has it free for free is the elderly people the kids don't need these yet until they're 11 and then 11 you have to have one of these but they don't have to top up or anything like that like we do if you have one of this, just like this, just normal, no picture, no, that means you have to pay more expensive. So, there you have it. So, it's just different over there. It's just things things that we have here that is more easier. I think, I'll, I don't think I'll ever live in Colombia for that reason. It's just the culture is so different and it's, and things that I'm not used to doing that I'm so used to doing here, like picking my nose, scratching my bum, dress up wherever I want, uh, dress in rags, um, yeah, like, it's just different, they're just, if you fart in public, they just make a big issue of it, so you get scolded big time if you do. There's many things that you get scolded. I was like really surprised. I was the most shock is all is you know when you sneeze. Normally back then they used to say bless you, bless you, bless you. We all still have that bless you here. Over there for some reason my auntie said oh because I said because I think my auntie or my uncle said bless you. I'm like bless you. And she was like oh don't say bless you. I was like why? Is it in a way? Is it not being rude? Like. It's just been, it's, you know, it's just so cold. I'm just so used to it. And she said, no, we, in, here in Colombia, we, we don't say that anymore. I was like, what? So, you, if someone just said, bless you, or just speak a, have a big ass sneeze, you will not say, bless you? Wow. There's many things that yeah, I'm not going to be used to, so I'm like, uh, right. But anyways, let's just say many things are just different over there to him, so, including houses.
so different. And so noisy. I, it does become noisy when people... I know people work. Everyone works. There's no such thing as, as um, people that don't work. It doesn't really exist over there. I think there are, but they don't... They're not those kind of people that say, I am unemployed! That kind of thing. They're not like that. <laughs> they're not like... They just rather keep it to themselves than just saying it and boast it and just embarrass themselves. So they're, they're like that. They're like that. So they're all kind of like, you know traits to Koreans, to Colombians, every <laughs> they're really connected. <laughs> they're on they're on tax, they're on tax. So yeah. Okay, so with that, mm, it becomes a bit noisy when, you know, you look out the window or you wanna have a piece of quiet and you hear and bananas and it just it sounds like something a fun fair a uh, affair just comes on. Like, is it, what the hell is going on? It's just a, a car going by with bufflets on top of the, of the van, and it's just, it's just someone with, with a microphone just announcing just, just empanadas and arepas and milk and, and all that kind of things that you... It's very Latinos. Latinos, that's how they work. Over here, you don't have that. You just literally don't have that. That does not exist in London. It doesn't happen. So it's just things that I'm like, ah, oh, I will never live with someone like that during the daytime. During daytime is nice and peaceful. You just just hear kitties just playing around instead of a, is that empanadas for one dollar and something something and yeah yeah just an announcement. And they, no, some of them were announced to do you know repairing computers, repairing these, repairing that, and for this amount of money and car cars, you know, they just drive alone. How could you? Yeah, health and safety, health and safety. Oh. So yeah, so as soon as I came back, I was a bit relieved because I will not survive on noises like that. But therefore, I had to wash by hand my clothes, which I hate the most in Colombia. Hand washing clothes ain't ain't cool. It is not cool as it's not the coolest thing ever. It's just it just really isn't. But I had to do it because it's not like here you just yeah you just half wash it and then you just dash it to the washing machine. Where I'm auntie doesn't believe in a washing machine. She just rather wash it and then leave it to hang to dry. Thank God it dries quickly. Why well, I mean quick. It dries quick. I mean, like, within the next day, it was very dried. By by midday, if you wash something by midday, it's half dried, and you just move it along. And then, at night time, then the next day, it's very dried, and you're just ready to put back in the luggage. So, woo! Anyways, so, that's what I thought. Just getting medicines, just getting visiting some few friends of my mom, um, dealing something with some business, <laughs> unfinished business in Colombia, and that's been sorted. Everything's sorted, so I came back to be a little bit more relaxed that everything's done. Now I come back, I have to deal with this. I have to deal with this now. Would you ever imagine yourself in a situation when you have to move home that you come back from a nice country and you have to deal with this bruh bruv it's just it, it looks like a, as if it would just it just something happened some, some disaster just happened to my room so what happened to my room so as you can see all the pictures that was all here you know and the the thingies on the board it all came down so the woods are all here as you can see uh oops there we go that's the horse my nephew usually plays there's more mess um uh, by the way <laughs> more stuff <laughs> i got some shit and i have more stuff in the shed which is upstairs i'm like shit i got a lot of shit i mean I have books on the on the shed. I have thingies. What's it called again? DVDs in there. Um, 
just take I just went up to the shed just to take up the the cases for the the video games to put it in the brown bag so it wouldn't be so heavy for my mom to lift. So that's sorted. Uh, yeah. That's what I wanted to share, guys. Woo! I've been dying to do this for a long time. Oh. I've been dying to do this for a long time. It's just, as you can see, so many things has gone on. I had to, on Saturday, I was about to do it on Saturday, but that wasn't possible because I had to go with my brother and buy the Chromecast. We went to Burger King and we went to the new house and he has to cut off the grass. I have to pick up the grass and put it in a black bag and then we threw it away and then we we also had to bring in some few stuff for the house and we also had to, that day with the TV oh my god Yosha Yo -ho -ho. it's thank god it's done the TV is done um, now my mom is still nagging me to, to try and find a place for the dog like not in the house but to give away but we, I just don't want to jump into the conclusion to go and get something for the dog because, as you can see, as you can see, the dog is. You've seen the dog a few times in the video, a couple of videos. Raina, she is a mix of a Staffordshire slash French Mastiff. So you can imagine a big mix. That she's a big dog and she has a lot of strength. The problem with it is that people will think she's a pit bull. And she's not a pit bull. She's just a cross breed. She's not a pit bull. She is not some terrier. She is not fully French Mastiff slash or she's not even a Staffordshire for a start. Well, she is. She looks her face looks like a Staffordshire. Her body is just big. She's just a big dog. But she's not aggressive. She's just stupid. That's all. <laughs> She is a stupid dog, but <laughs> that's how she is. And she's really calm. She's friendly. She likes kids. She likes everyone. She likes. She does not really like kids. She likes kids. Yes. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Oh, she loves children, but she also loves dogs, people. You know, good, with good vibes, good people. So she she wants to friend, be make friends with everyone. Uh, the only problem with the dog is her fur. That's why my mom wants to give her away. I, to be honest, I don't want to give her away. The fact that I love this dog so much, the fact that she's so stupid, it, it makes me love her even more. Like, how can you not love the dog that, the way she is? She bloody snores for crying out loud. What other do what dog does that and twitches during night times? And she guards do the door, my mum's doorway, and she just sleeps off. All she does is sleep and eat. And she's very demanding. So, I don't know. Why would anyone want to <laughs> Why? I don't understand it. It's not that hard to give a chance on, on a dog. But, if it's not possible, that's fair enough. Fair enough. Anyways, that is all you guys. So, just in case, if you go on a holiday, make sure if you're learning Korean or Japanese, Always take yourself one of these books with you. Ah, uh, take one of, just take one of these, and trust me, it helps you so much. You, you don't, you guys don't understand. It helps you so much. It comes, it comes in handy. No matter how small they are, you will get these, and trust me, you will just learn, 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 and learn how it's pronounced. In in as many ways as possible, just to do common sense, like, oh, it's pronounced that way. Cool. And then you, then you, um, kind of, I'm sorry about you can't see me properly because there's a bump in here. I don't know what bump is that. What the hell is in here? Oh, okay. There we go. Sorry about that. There's a bump there, which I don't understand why it's there. So, that is all, you guys. Remember to subscribe my channel, like this video, share this video. I, do, I know I only got 26 subscribers, but it would be nice to have at least this year 96 subscribers this year. I hope. I just hope, because I can't. I can't say I hope to get 10,000 subscribers because it's going to be take longer than it should be. But hey. So with that said. 
there we go. <laughs> Oh, I love sharing. It's, you know, sharing sharing is good on YouTube sometimes. So also remember, if you're going to Colombia, don't think of Colombia is just some boring country or something like that. Also remember, you got to remember, compared to here, they don't show K-pop videos. Over there, they do. Oh, trust me, they do. K-pop dramas, I mean K-pop dramas, K-dramas, Korean dramas to... K-pop to K-hip-hop. I mean, a few days ago, when I was in Colombia, um, I happened to turn on channel 20, channel 13, and on that channel, which also happens to have music videos, at 4 o'clock, when it strikes to 4 o'clock, it's the K-pop time. And what was the first video I saw on that K-pop channel? I mean, not that K-pop channel, on that channel? Um... JYP. JYP's newest video. I was like, yeah, I've already seen this video before, so yeah, I'm not su really surprised. But hell! Okay, that's all. So, that's all, you guys. So, subscribe, like, and share this video. Also, subscribe my channel for more videos and if there's any requests like K-pop videos, K-pop K-pop related, J-pop related, uh K hip hop related and K J Rock related, please do on comments down below. If there's any reactions that is like um how can I say manga related, like live reaction manga related like, you know, like One Piece, Naruto Fairytale, Bleach, Dragon Ball, Sailor Moon, and etc, etc, etc. If it's other shows or other series that you want me to react, and I there is no chance of reacting, okay, so let's... <laughs> so, yeah, you get the point. So, I won't be reacting today, but I might react tomorrow, if that makes sense. Because they're going to be busy, my mom's going to be busy, she's going to go to the new house and whoosh, take some stuff. But anyways, that is all you guys. Uh, also, um, follow um, um, follow me on most of my social media and also like my fan page on Facebook. And for those who like my stories, I'm back guys, I'm back! So I'm still currently writing on my new stories, some upcoming new stories, some current stories are still in the works. They're all still in the works actually. They're, they're no, yeah. I just came back, you know, as I've been so busy, so I haven't been active. So I started writing again today. So for those who love my stories on Asian fanfics, DeviantArt, and on Wattpad, I'll be writing again! Yay! <laughs> oh my god, I feel, I feel cheesy right now. Thanks for the Confury. Oh my god. For those who have not seen the Confury, Confury short film, I recommend it to you guys. Oh my god. So awesome. But, <laughs> it was funny at the same time as Wilson, so, yeah, it's brilliant. So, that is all you guys, so, Annyeong everyone! And Salang hey.